Hello viewers, welcome to another vlog and today's topic of discussion is extravascular hemolysis. So what is extravascular hemolysis? Hemolysis is the process of breaking down of RBCs within our body. It can be either intravascular or extravascular. Intravascular when it occurs within the blood vessels and when it is occurring outside blood vessels then it is known as extravascular that means outside blood vessels so uh, what is intra uh, what is extravascular hemolysis i'll be discussing about this now let's understand the process of extravascular hemolysis now what happens in case of intravascular hemolysis now here in this picture you can see that there is attachment of the pentameric structure of antibody that is IgM type of antibody as we know that IgM is a pentameric structure and it attaches with the RBC and by attachment it can induce formation of the membrane attack clump complex these are the small yellowish structures these are the membrane attack complex and this causes uh, some uh, holes in the membrane of RBC and by that way it lies the RBC so in case of intravascular hemolysis so in case of so in case of intravascular hemolysis there is attachment of IgM with the red cells and after that there is formation of membrane attack complex so this membrane attack complex they put some holes within the membrane of rbc and by making those holes it actually lies the rbc so the destruction of rbc that usually takes place within the blood vessels and this type of hemolysis is known as intravascular hemolysis now what happens in case of extravascular hemolysis first of all the main the key difference is there is presence of igg type of antibody this is not a pentameric structure like IgM. In case of extravascular hemolysis, there is attachment of IgG type of antibody over the surface of RBCs and this IgG they causes extravascular hemolysis. That means the hemolysis that is taking place outside blood vessels and this type of hemolysis that usually occurs within spleen and in liver. These are the two organs which are concerned with RE system or reticuloendothelial system. So there are many macrophages within these organs and they usually engulf those RBCs which are coated with IgG type of antibody. Now these macrophages as you can see over here these macrophages they have some receptors those are IgG receptors and these IgG receptors they usually bind with the IgG that is present over the red cell surface and by this attachment it is easier for the macrophage to engulf the RBC and gradually destroy it within. So this is the basic mechanism of extravascular hemolysis now in case of intravascular hemolysis there is attachment of the IgG IgM type of antibody and in case of extravascular hemolysis there is mainly attachment of the IgG type of antibody now let's come to the uh, what happens in case of extra extravascular hemolysis now in case of extravascular hemolysis sorry now in case of extravascular hemolysis there is first there is in the re system in the re system or reticular endothelial system there is breaking of the hemoglobins and by breaking the hemoglobin uh, iron and protopyrin these are released now this protopyrin protoporphyrin this protoporphyrin is converted into bilirubin and gradually bilirubin converts to bilirubin and this bilirubin is unconjugated it, ha it has to be conjugated to excrete to uh, get excreted from our body so in liver there is conjugation of the unconjugated bilirubin with the help of bilirubin uh, glucuronide 
now this conjugation takes place within liver and with the help of this conjugation the conjugated bilirubin or the direct bilirubin is formed and this direct bilirubin is excreted within the gut where with the help of some bacterial enzymes this direct or conjugated bilirubin is converted into urobilinogen and starcobilinogen this starcobilinogen is excreted in school in this starcobilinogen is excreted in stool and the urobilinogen and that is recycled within the enterohepatic circulation so this is the fate of hemoglobin destruction if you are new to this channel then don't forget to subscribe and also please make sure to press the all notification button to get our videos instantly and uh, you can share your opinion regarding this channel uh, if there is any scope then definitely you should suggest us then what we can improve and if you find this video helpful then don't forget to give us a like till then take care and stay fit be healthy thank you